welcome friends uh, in earlier we have at the earlier video we have learned about the basics of y is equal to mx plus c function the sin x function and the mod x function today we are here to discuss on the topic on this functions how to draw the graph of this function what are the properties of this function we are going to discuss on this first we are going to discuss about the floor function which is commonly known as the greatest integer function second is the ceiling function or the seal function um, which is also known as the least integer commonly known as least integer function third one here is the fractional part of x uh, and the last is the signum function which is mod x by x so now we are going to discuss about floor function so let us discuss about first the greatest integer function as i have told greatest integer function commonly is denoted by this fun in this um, this and it is also known as the floor function the why this is in, uh, we, uh, this floor function as we know floor means the ground right so um, whatever integer whatever value will we will pass through this function it will give the uh, lowest or the ground or the lowest value lowest integer among it means see uh, this function 2.3 it's uh, it lies between 2 and 3 right so as the name suggests floor means it will uh, give uh, return the least value so is here same with this so uh, here the least value is 7 right here the least value is 0 and here the least value is minus 2. Why it is minus 2? See, minus 1.7 lies between minus 1 and minus 2. Sorry. Lies between minus 1 and minus 2, right? So, which one is the least value here? Minus 1 or minus 2? It's minus 2, right? So, the answer is minus 2. Now, in generalized form, if x lies between n and n plus 1, if x lies between n and n plus 1 it will return n what does it means if x lies between 0 and 1 it will return 0 right if x lies between 1 and 2 it will return the least value that is 1 if x lies between 2 and 3 it will return the least value that is 2 so from this uh, let us draw the uh, let us draw the graph as you um, as you know in the least integer function or the greatest integer function this is a stepwise function these are also known as these are also known as the stepwise function means this graph will not be in this graph will not be a continuous graph it will be a discrete graph okay so let us draw the graph now here as we uh, as i have told when it is 0 right when it is 0 to 1 it will give the function 0 right and when it will touch when it is 1 it will jump right it will jump and 1 to 2 it will give 1 or 2 right and 3 from 2 to 3 again it will jump when it is value is 2 it will jump it will give 3 similarly for negative value see for negative value when it is minus 1 to 0 it will give minus 1 and when it reaches 0 it will jump right when it is minus 2 when minus 2 it will give um, for minus 2 to 1 it will give minus 2 and when it reaches minus 1 it will jump so this is the resultant graph what does this dotted line means this dotted line means it will give this value and what does this open curve means it will jump the value so as you can see this is a discontinuous graph okay now let us check some of the properties <clears throat> these are the few properties uh, why we are learning this this will help uh, in functions uh, in some uh, function chapter okay this will help you in the uh, chapter function okay so box of x 
will give x a box of x or uh, greatest integer function of x will give you x when x is an integer value okay now x plus any integer we can give it like this means the box of x plus the integer value and these are some of the properties you can see so it's easy right you uh, should memorize some of them it will be easy for you if you do uh, you know don't need to memorize if you practice this it will be easy okay so you can see all this and wh what is this as i have taken the example of negative value see when it is a minus 1 right it will give minus 1 as output when x z is an integer it's an integer right x is an integer here when x is not an integer means when it give minus 1.7 say see it will give minus 1 right minus box of x means minus 1 and then minus 1 it will give minus 2 this is nothing but the basic property right so these two are the basic properties this is the basic property this is the basic property so i think you can remember this easily now after greatest integer function we will come to least integer function it is also a stepwise function like the greatest integer function and it also its graph is also a discrete graph okay means it is not a continuous graph it is commonly indicated by this it is commonly known as ceiling function right means it will give the greatest value or the greatest limit of that for example 2.301 it lies between what it lies between 2 and 3 right so what is the greatest integer among them it's 3 it lies between 0 and 1 what is the greatest integer among them it's 1 it lies between minus 7 and minus 8 what is the greatest integer among them it's minus 7 so it's easy right now for generalized value if we take x uh, x in between n and n plus 1 what will be the greatest integer among them it will be n plus 1 right so it is returning n plus 1 it's very easy so um, see minus 1 and 0 what it will what is the greatest integer it it will return 0 0 and 1 what is the greatest integer it will return 1 similarly 1 and 2 what is the greatest integer it will return 2 so let us see the resultant graph which i can obtain using this see when it is 0 as you can see earlier in the greatest integer function what was the graph when it was 0 to 1 it will return 0 right means it will return the positive value so now when it is 0 to minus 1 it will now it will return 0 right so the graph will change like this when it is my 1 to 0 what it will return what it will return when it is 1 to 0 what it will return 1 to 0 it will return 1 so the closed curve is 1 and the opening curve is 0 right now 2 it will return 2 why because from 1 to 2 it will return it is returning 2 right it's easy so um, from 1 to 2 the opening uh, the closed curve is 0 means it will return a value 2 and when it is reaches 1 it will jump right so the result is like this when it is 1 to minus 2 it will return a value minus 1 so there is a value here but when it reaches minus 2 when it is about to reach minus 2 it will jump right so the graph is so easy right now some some of the properties uh, as you have seen in greatest integer it is like this only x plus 1 of any lowest integer it will return more x plus uh, i right and in greatest integer function if we apply here greatest integer function it will return i okay but for least integer function or, or ceiling function it will return a i plus 1 okay these are some of the properties i think you have understood this 
now its fractional part of x okay fractional part of x can be indicated by this function what does this denotes uh, it is like uh, it is like a curly braces uh, x in the curly braces or so second bracket of x right the fun uh, uh, the fractional part of x can also be written as x minus box of x okay so its range will lie uh, it will lie between 0 and 1 how let us take a example let us take uh, x equal to 1.7 right so box of x will be as 1 right so what is the fractional part of x now it will be 1.7 minus 1 it means minus 7 if you take any example any example sort of it will always return uh, um, return the range between 0 to 1 okay what does this mean it will never be 1 as you can see see it can be 0 when it will be 0 it will be 0 when x is a integer value like when x is 1 box of x is also 1 right so the fractional part of x as um, the equation it will return 0 right but it can never be 1 so whenever it reaches 1 uh, like the least integer and the greatest integer function it will be a open graph like this the graph will be like this means at z there will be a function at 0 it will it, there will be a value at 0 but when it is 1 it will jump the value means there is no value okay so as you can see when x lies between 0 to 1 the fractional part of x will return a function of x okay when x lies between 1 to 2 it will it lie uh, it will give a value of x minus 1 okay and when x lies between 2 to 3 it will return a value of x minus 2 okay let us see the graph here so as we have seen it it will lie between 0 to 1 so this is the zero x is equal to zero line and let us suppose this is x is equal to one line right so what will be the graph um, what will the graph return see when it is 0 it will give x okay and whenever it reaches 1 it will give x minus 1 similarly x minus 2 here and whenever it is between minus 1 it will give x plus 1 similarly when it is minus 2 it will give x plus 2 so i think you have understood this graph right so as i have told what are the properties some of the properties of the fractional part of x some of the properties of fractional part of x as the fractional part of x will return x when it is 0 to 1 x is 0 to 1 as you can see from the graph when it is from 0 to 1 what it is returning it is returning x as a function right when it will be return 0 when it is a integer i have explained it, it here right when it is a, a integer value it will always return 0 and when it is a negative of x fractional part of x means this see it will return 1 minus the fractional part of x okay now we are going to discuss signum function signum function is commonly denoted by sgn of x okay so signum function when x is 0 it will give 0 but when it, x is not equal to 0 it can be written as mod of x by x or x by mod of x both are as we know both are the same thing right both is the um, both gives the same value now as i have discussed in the earlier video that this mod of x can be divided right so is the same here this value can give three different values what when x is greater than 0 
as we know mod of x when x is greater than 0 it will give positive value of x and positive value of x by x will give the answer as 1 when x is less than 0 it will result to minus x right and minus f of x it will result to minus 1 and when x is equal to 0 in case of signum function it will return 0 as you can see here it will as yes, when x equal to 0 it is returning 0 so is the function here so <clears throat> what is the domain of this function see the domain can be any real value right when it is 0 it's returning 0 when it is 1 it's return uh, when it is 1 1 means x, x is greater than 0 it is returning 1 and when it is minus 1 uh, when it is less than 0 it is returning minus 1 so domain can be any value but what is the range here see as you can see the range is 1 0 and minus 1 right so what is the function see when it is when it is 1 0 and minus 1 see when it is 1 when it is 0 right it will give 0 so here there is no value right and when it is greater than 0 it will give a positive value means it will be constant at 1 right it is a constant graph at 1 similarly when it is 0 there is no value it will give 0 but when it is less than 0 the graph will be constant at minus 1 this means that when it is 0 there is no 0 so there is a dot here because when the when uh, x achieves this value it will jump to this value so there is no value here and it is also a discrete function like the previous three functions okay and as i have discussed what is the domain and the range here right so that's all for today next day we will learn about the we will um, what we will learn in next day let us see we will learn log of x function e to the power x function 2 to the power x all this x square x to the power 1 by 3 all this okay we, in our next class we will learn how to draw all this graph what are the basic functions of log x what are the basic functions of e to the power x and some domain and range okay thank you if you have any doubt please ask me on the comment section if you like our video please do subscribe and like and share with your friends thank you